It's workshop day and we are making a compost bin and I brought my landscape engineer Bill Searing and we're on the same quarantine so we don't have to have masks, okay? Hello Kelly. Hello. So tell me what is our first job? So you may recognize this stand right here when we did our raised beds. Mm -hmm. That was a stand we used out of old wood ends okay. and we're gonna, we're gonna repurpose our repurposed stand. I like it. I really like it when we can use yeah. things we have around the farm. All right, what are all of the tools up here? So we have a cutting device. This is what I use, a, a power right angle tool, but you could use a hacksaw, you could use a drywall saw, okay. you could use a number of different things. It could all, all of this could be done with hand tools. Okay. I just choose to do it faster right. with And we're tools. cutting plastic. Yes, we okay. are. We're gonna cut a uh, access door in this drum right, right here. So, right, I have some two and a half inch wood screws. Okay. I have some one inch wood screws. All right. I have some old hinges here yes. that I got. So uh, one We of found the, those on a, a cabinet door, didn't that's we? That's right. It was just a simple cabinet door like <laughs> that. Where might you find this? Habitat for Humanity will have items mm -hmm. like this. So very, very, very cool. I like it. Right? Really, we're using yep. just even the fasteners. Nice. Yep. Tape measure and a power drill. And these are turn buttons. Okay. Uh, these were used to hold like the screens in. And okay. we're going to use that for our access door nice. for what we do for our compost. Okay. And then I also have just a small roller section here. This was what I got out of an old uh, kind of a grocery store. Conveyor, right? Yeah. So like when they come from the truck into the store, they yep. roll the carts in, right? Is and, that what you're thinking of? Yeah, and also for product too. Okay. But you could use something as simple as this. This is uh, just for a computer table on okay, the bottom. Okay, small casters. Small casters, or you could use something like this also. This one swivels, but I prefer that if it was straight. Okay. Right? If it was stiff All like right. that. We'll right. show everybody the detail yeah. on that. I have a flathead screwdriver and this. Do we need these tools? We need both okay. of those too. So, All right. So what the objective is, is to get the barrel prepared mm -hmm. on the stand itself and so it rolls very easily nice. so we can turn I like turn it. the compost. Okay. All right, all right. So we have three casters on the stand already. Yep. Show us how we do the last one. Sure, so this is the last one right here. We'll move over there. So okay. I need uh, this one inch right here. Okay. I'm gonna give you that. I'm right. gonna give you that because right. I'm gonna hold it there, right? And we'll need a two and a half. Okay. So we're gonna, this slides in here like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set this down here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this about the top even with this right here. And I'll have you put a screw. So you want the top of this metal to be at the top of this exactly. two by four. Exactly. Okay. So I'm gonna move this back. Okay. And I'm gonna have you put it in this second hole right okay. here. Please. Great. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is just the way that these casters are, is we're gonna put this one in here and you're gonna go about two thirds of the way down just to keep the caster from rolling out. Okay. Or the rollers, I should say. Okay, mm -hmm. you got it? Mm -hmm. That pretty good? A little more. A little more, all right. Please. Good. Okay. There. So that oh, one. I see. It's just a holder. Exactly. All right. Right. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to pull these out like this, uh -huh. and I'm going to have you put a final screw okay. right in there. It's going to be one of the one-inch ones. All right. It's handy to have your little power drill with you. Yes, it is. So Great. we did that on all three already. Yep. So okay. this is our fourth one. Right all now. right. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this in so that stays right. Where did you find these? I love these little casters. These are so almost like wheels. You can pretty much get those on the internet. You can buy them in a foot section. You can buy them in four foot sections if you'd like All to. Right. This is about a four foot section right here. So we've got it on the top. Flip this. Where did we find this barrel? So this is uh, also too, you can find them on pretty much Craigslist is the best place okay. or something like that or a local, could be chemical company. We rinsed it out, so we're good that right. way. And so I'll have you grab this right. end right here, right? Now this is the same barrel we used for the raised bed, so yes, it is, they're right? handy. So now you can kind of Look at see that. how easy that is just as far as rolling that or turning your compost. But nice. what we need to do is we need to put in an access door. Okay. okay. So make sure it's right in the middle, okay? Yes. All right. Okay. Now, do so you have any preference on where the door should be? Doesn't make any difference to me because we're going to make it this way. Okay. So, so we considered putting the door in the end, but we really didn't like that idea just because of how the end was kind of curved here. So we're going to put in a door here. And what size do you think it should be? I'm going to I'm gonna build it so that it's about a foot wide and about 10 inches long. Now, the big part about the door is that when you want to get the compost out, you're going to open the door and then put a basket or bucket underneath so that you can open the door and it'll fall out of the bottom. 
That's kind of the theory, right? That is okay. the theory. All right, so then let's just make it a foot long. You want me to hold that? Please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. So I'm just gonna connect the lines. Forgive me if they're not straight. <laughs> They'll be close, Bill. <laughs> How's that? Boy, those wheels were great. I want to be able to get my hands in there, I guess, is what my how I'm gauging that. Yep. And right. you want to try and keep it between your legs, too, as far as the stand goes, so okay. you're not off so, one side or the other. So what right. you're saying is this coming around front, you want to make sure the opening doesn't go too far to one side or the other yep. in, in between these legs? Yep. You're trying okay. to center it. Do you like that? I like it. All right. Okay. Now what? So... Uh, I'm wearing safety glasses because I'm okay. going to be using a power tool. So I'll just stand, stand over stand here. back where you could. Yep. So this will be hot plastic, and I'm just going to kind of cut this in here. So as you can see, I applied them out of my uh, kindy garden. Education <laughs> that I can stay within Very the nice, good job. Okay, but you just did the sides first. Now yep. you're going to chop them bottom. All right, so nice. How's it looking? I'm, good. I think I'm close enough with the screwdriver. Okay. If you want to just grab it in this kind of right here in this All corner right. like this, and I'll mm -hmm. try and pry it, it up. It's not that. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a little warm, so. All right. So I cut Ooh. it close enough. That looks great. So now that we have the door removed here, as you can see, yeah. wide open space right here. We're going to go over here. We're going to okay. move to the workbench and we'll right. install the hinges in. Right. So, yep, space them so, in about. One inch from the yep. edge. Is that okay with you? Yep, that sounds right. good or approximately that way. All right, and these are the screws that actually came with these, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Nice. Looks good. Now we're going to grab three of these screws. We're okay. going to move it over. We're going to actually install it to the drum. All right. Okay. Here we go. Goes on the bottom like this? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's kind of like carving a pumpkin. Put the door on it. There you go. I'm going <laughs> to hand you that one. All I'm right. just going to hold it in place here and All I'm right. just moving it flush. So how about, do you, would you like me to just do the bottom one first? Yep. Okay. Good? Yep. So you could really have any kind of a, but I'll give that to you for the side. Sure. You don't want too long a hinge because we're working with a concurve surface. Okay. Great. Look at that. The door works. Beautiful. Ta-da. Okay. We probably need a latch because look, look how nicely that rolls. Oops. The door comes open. So how are we going to probably want pull to want to the roll door? The latch. So okay. Take those three right, All right there. What is that again? These are called turn buttons. And typically what they're used for is, is to hold your screens in. So mm -hmm. you got a window, right? Held your screen in like that. Mm -hmm. In this case, we're gonna use an application. This is we're gonna mount it like this. We're gonna be able to turn it like that so it holds the right, door nice. closed. Nice. Keeps Simple. Our compost Simple. In. Very, very, very okay. straightforward. Great. Yep. Okay, okay, we're gonna install one on this side, okay, one on the other side, and then one in the center. Great. I go. love it. Okay. And like I said, there's really no pressure from inside, so this door could essentially push through, but what we really just don't want it to just flop open. Exactly. Why okay. we're spinning it. Okay. Yep. So if you want to, you can just see right here, right? If you open this up, open mm -hmm. this up, open that one up, right? Oh, look at that. Yep. The door. Ta da. Yep. Door comes open. It's tight. Yep. It is tight. Right Great. You know, it's a little hard to open this door, so how about if we take a longer screw and just make it a little handle? Is that yeah, okay with well, you? Yeah, well, that is a handle. Put this okay. in there if you would, please. Just run right there. Yep. Go. Okay. So I have a All little right. uh, something to grab into All right. before I bite here. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's there. much easier. Do you like that? I like that a lot. Better. Okay. Teamwork. Pretty simple project and really didn't cost us a whole lot. What do we have into this one? So I have some one inch screws, right? You could buy those individually by mm -hmm. the box. Let's say five, six dollars, okay. right? On the turn buttons right here, we're about two dollars, okay. right? On the hinges, I'm not sure the total cost on the hinges, but you can scavenge those. Just pay attention. Yeah. Somebody setting old uh, kitchen cupboards, mm -hmm. bathroom, mm -hmm. lavatory out, mm -hmm. something like that. Go ahead and just grab those there. So really the fasteners were the biggest expense out of yeah. this. Yeah, right? and the bucket's probably, or I should say the barrel's probably going to be about 
mm, 10 to 15 dollars, mm -hmm. but sometimes you will see them. Okay. Uh, something along the road. So now we're up to 15 free. bucks. Yes. And then the two by four and the, the stand itself. Yeah, so some of that we had, we had already done. Uh, the two by fours was left over wood, yeah. right? But the, the runners itself, those rollers right there mm -hmm. are gonna be the most expensive thing right there. Mm -hmm. So look to be maybe in the 15 to $20 range mm -hmm. on those. Okay. So all in, I would say we're less than $40. Great. Compared to a new one that's gonna run you 90 plus dollars mm -hmm. ish for a roller in the configuration. How about some leaves? Go ahead. Sure. Mm -hmm. So you could be filling your compost bin at any time of the year. And then when you get it partially full, just give it a spin. And I have some grass clippings I can put in next. Wow, that is good. There you go. Shut the door, thank you. I love it. And give it a spin, this is great. Look how easy that moves on those casters. So how, should, how often should you turn it? Uh, you could just turn it like every other week or maybe once a month. You really don't have to okay. turn it very often. Whenever you put something new in it, give it a spin. Okay, and should we add moisture? If, if you can, just what I would do is just leave the door open okay. every once in a while and it'll naturally just rain in there and then just shut it back up. Okay, just so give we're, it a spin. we're storing this outside. Yeah, definitely store okay. it outside. This is probably one of my favorite projects. And this is how you get composting and get, get growing. growing.